Hey, it's your girl Kalisha, and I'm back with another episode of my podcast. Um, I want y'all to subscribe to my channel, number one. Make sure y'all liking this video. Listen on all other stream streaming platforms. Well, not all other, because I think it's just on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. And, um... Or Anchor, if y'all want to download the app Anchor. And I'm trying to stop smacking so much. I listened to the last episode and realized that I smack a lot. So, I'm going to be conscious of that this episode. Well, try to be. Hopefully, I don't forget. Um, Anyways, this episode... Well, the first segment I want to get into is social media. <laughs> so, I, sometimes social media affect me so much. Like, um, even this... But this is something that I actually love doing. So regardless, you know, it's just me uploading and, you know, people giving me feedback. So this is something that's not like a, a, a full, like a not really a full negative experience on social media for me. But what I realized so much is that Facebook for me has been so negative for me. It's it's crazy. And something about me is that I, I, I let stuff like I let stuff get to me so much and I don't know why it's like my my, my mind I don't know my mind is it, it just lets stuff get to me so much so stuff on Facebook like people on Facebook I feel like Facebook and Twitter are like the two apps so where people are just the most ignorant like they just get on the app and just say the most ignorant stuff that comes to mind Twitter is real crazy too I don't like Twitter when I'm um you know tweeting about stuff like shows that I watch things like that um I want to read tweets about like what people got from the show to see if they have the same opinions as me to, to see if they you know relate to the same opinions that I have about the show or if they have different opinions um but Facebook is like I get on Facebook like 30 times a day probably probably more and um what I've been realizing by Facebook is that it's so much negativity. I don't know if it's my news feed, but my news feed, what I love about Facebook is that it's so hilarious. Like, I get on Facebook and laugh all day, like, scrolling. I'm going to find something that's going to make me laugh until my stomach hurt on Facebook. Like, I'm going to find stuff that's just so funny. And I'm just that person that I love to laugh. Like, I wouldn't be collation without laughing. I'm a laugher. Trust me. No matter how ugly my laugh is, I'm going to laugh. Period. I don't care what nobody got to say about it. Period. You gonna catch me laughing. Um, <laughs> but, like, so much funny stuff. See, I smacked again. I'm sorry. But so much funny stuff. Like, I, I get on there and laugh for hours and hours and hours. Like, money long, say. I was her name? Money, money long, whatever. Hours and hours. I will laugh for hours and hours. But, it's to the point to where, you know, people are so negative and stuff like that. Like, everything got to be negativity. Regardless of, okay, I, f I follow the news page, especially because, you know, I like to know about the weather, because I never know nothing about the weather. I don't watch the news. I never know nothing about the weather until, you know, the news, uh, until I get on Facebook and see, um, <laughs> you know, oh, it might be a storm today or something like that. So, I definitely, Facebook is definitely useful for that, uh, you know, um, certain things like that. So, I follow our local news station, um, and it's... Uh, of course, obviously, negativity on that. And, you know, I live in Louisiana, and the comment section in the news station for Down Hill is wild. Like, if it's... I'm not even going to get into it deep like that, but if it's people that look like this... Oh, my goodness, disgusting. Lock them up, throw away the key, which... I mean, if you did something disgusting that deserved that, then yeah, I agree. But when it's a person that look like this... And nine times out of ten, they be, oh my goodness, why are they running with a bad crowd? They're misunderstood. They need mental health help. Bring them to a mental hospital. They're, um, you could tell they're a good person, but they decided to do bad things. Like, are you kidding me? And it's just like, you know, the news station for downhill, like, if y'all was to get in the comments, like, it, it's just a, a, a major difference from one type of people to, you know, another type of people. Also, I'm sorry, something popped up on the computer. I thought it stopped recording. Um, also, you know, it's actual, like, regular people that just post negativity all the time. Like, um, certain stuff affect me when it's just something so stupid. Like, 
so many so many things where it's like oh men and women like where you know all these podcasts and all these men oh women are stupid i'm tired of y'all da, 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 and it just affect me so much and i realized on twitter is so much of that like foolishness like the the kevin samuels of the world all these idiots that kevin samuels influence um they take over twitter to be honest because i don't i don't I don't look up that type of stuff. I don't care about that type of stuff. I was on Twitter yesterday. A video of this girl. Ran the video of this girl. Huh? Her boyfriend was going home. And I guess she heard some music. It was recorded in like a ring camera, I guess. And she was like, oh, you know, he, he don't get bored. Like, you know, goofy. Like, just being goofy. And she was like, nasty or whatever. And um, all the men in the comments was like, and y'all wonder why y'all single. Oh, y'all wonder why we hate y'all. Oh, and y'all want to know why we distant. Oh, y'all too goofy. We hate that. Men don't like that. Like, every man in the comments was, like, dogging. Like, oh, this is why men want to be single. This is why men don't want to spend time with y'all. Because y'all do stupid stuff like this. Like, the girl was literally dancing. And they walked in the apartment. Like, what? Okay, like... I just like pushing and perpetuating they negative feelings about women on the whole like on a, a, a post that's not even supposed to be about that and they had some men on that was like like a few comments was like oh y'all doing too much like I like for my girl to be goofy sometimes like which I want her to be mad like I like for my girl to be goofy sometimes. And other men was like, uh, of course, of course, a pick me, like, basically, oh, of course, a pick me, oh, they, all, these girls in the comments not go mess, not go sleep with you for that, you, uh, you just trying to say what they would like, da, da, da. like, no, what if you genuinely feel like that, what if you like, okay, like, what's wrong with my girl being goofy sometimes, and, like, it's just the negativity, oh, these, they just, send me like I, I hate seeing them even on tiktok i see them like the the men that be like oh women this women that like damn and then when girls get in the comments and finally be like which we're not saying that you are gay we just saying that if you hate women this much maybe you should go be with a man so i saw this girl comment right under that like she was like you know because a bunch of men was like sharing like being negative oh no no, no. it was another post on facebook and the post literally said, he was like, oh, men, don't tell your problems to women because they don't listen and they go hold it against you anyways. Don't tell, don't tell nothing to women. Keep it to yourself. And she said, well, go tell it to men then. Just like that. Oh, the whole comment section. You the type of woman that we talking about. Y'all are like hating her, flaming her. This episode is not about that, but I'm going to get into that on another episode. But basically, that's what I'm talking about. Like sheep. The whole, like, I feel like everybody on social media is sheep. No shade to y'all because, you know, I love y'all. But some of y'all be sheep, okay? And if one person say something, y'all all, all going to agree with it. Will Smith. Nah. Do I agree with Will Smith put his hands on Chris Rock? I absolutely not. 1,000% no. I don't agree with that. Because I don't feel like... Number one, that wasn't even warranted. I don't feel like it was that big of a deal to slap somebody in there regardless. If a situation is not escalating and it's not already physical, then why go out the way to, you know, do physical violence? Like, I, I'm just not with it. I, I don't like that. You know, I, I, I don't like that. But, um, you know, at the same time, I feel like, you know, he was defending his wife. Mm, I guess, you know, I love Will Smith. This not about to make me hate Will Smith or dislike Will Smith. It's just the fact that I feel like he did do too much. And, you know, if him taking some time back and reevaluating or whatever, then that's what he got to do. But I don't feel like people should be beating him up like, oh, he the worst person in the world. Oh, this is why. Da -da -da. Another thing. Oh, this is the first um, Oscars where they really giving black people their roses, which is the truth. Because a lot of the times black people don't be getting Oscars. Like Samuel L. Jackson get his first Oscar. Will Smith getting his first Oscar. I just find that so crazy like how the hell is this day first oscar that's just to me like I, I just don't get it but yeah this is one that they find that is prom you know promoting our people now Give, giving our people their roses but i don't somebody that seem a little acted out to me i don't know just if y'all with me on that one, just let me know somebody that one seem a little acted out to me because i just don't get it like i don't get the whole 
him going up that slide, like, what's me that even seem like that type of person? Like, genuinely, like, out of all people, I would have expected somebody else to do that for Will Smith did it, to be honest. I just felt like it was a little acted out. You know, uh, Chris Rock hosting. This is, like, Will Smith won the biggest Oscar of the night. Come, like, it just seemed, it just seemed a little, you know, publicity for me. A little, they, they did a little bit of that on purpose. Um, but, regardless if it was real, I just feel like it was inappropriate but back to social media how people either on one side or another do you know they everybody hates jada picky smith but i'm not gonna get into that right now next episode i will get into that deep diving but everybody oh will you dumb oh you stupid uh why would you do that for her she don't deserve it all kind of stuff like that um you know, she making you look stupid. Everybody either on Chris Rock's side, oh, you don't talk about no man wife like that. You don't know what she was going through. She had alopecia, da da da. So it's just everybody on social media are sheep and they go go with whatever the majority of the comments say. And I realize, and because I see a lot of y'all be on one side in one comment section and be on another side of another comment section. Can I say I've done it before? Yes, because. I have a video on my channel going off of Evelyn Lozada, and to be honest, I was on Evelyn's side the whole season of Basketball Wives, and then after the show, <laughs> when everybody was dragging her for OG, I still, OG still was never one of my favorites, but at the same time, I dragged Evelyn because I feel like, okay, Evelyn, you did do a little too much. I let social media influence me to change my mind but you know what is everybody on social media influences now but i just feel like social media is just so negative because they find they go out of their way to post the most negative things blogs i think my very first episode of this this podcast like you know the opinion of the sagittarius um well that's what i used to call it i don't know if i'm gonna go back to calling it that or what but um I was talking about how I unfollow blogs. I still don't follow blogs. I will be under blog posts sometimes because sometimes it come in my feed, you know, my for you feed or whatever. Um, and I will look at a post if it interests me. But I don't follow blogs because it's texting on my mental. Like, the people in the comments are like, it's like the... The wasteland of stupidity is blog site comments. And blogs do it on purpose. It's like... They'll find the ugliest picture of somebody. Let's see somebody that that people don't really like all the way. A celebrity that people don't like all the way. I don't know who the name right now, but it'll be the ugliest picture, and they'll be like, "Okay, this one flexing in a fashion over da 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 on purpose," and the whole comments will be dragging them just to make people feel lower about themselves. And you know, it's just like, damn, like, give that person a break. Like, they'll post the most ignorant things. Like, it'll be like, like, toxic is cute. Like, they'll post the most toxic posts. Um, Justin L.A. Boy, I'm about to unfollow him also because he is another person that perpetuates the old toxicity. Toxicity? What is that word? I always use it. I don't know that word. But he is another one that promotes, like, old oh, toxic stuff is cute. And the comment section of the women, oh, yeah, I do, like, oh, it's just so negative to me. I just, I, I, I can't even deal, like, and I, I let it affect me so much. Facebook, when I get on Facebook and I see people posting stupid stuff, like, I could get on Facebook right now and... I'll see people posting stupid stuff and it'll just get to me. Like, let's see the first post that pop up on my feed. Okay, this one, not this one funny. Like I said, Facebook is so funny to me. But look, okay. Uh, uh, somebody kidnapped. Uh, something that pop up. Just something about T.I. That's negative. Just, you know... So, just so so much like uh so much negativity that just it, it disgusts me and i just can't even explain it all the way because it's like you know it'll be a girl like how many times girls go viral on facebook and she'll post like her caption will be i'm so pretty and it'll go viral and people will be clowning on just so much stuff like that like it's like damn like like why like I don't know. I feel like social media is like a toxic wasteland. Um, blogs. Oh, I just can't, I can't get over how negative blogs are. Like, blogs will flip a story 
It's like they have a notification. I don't know if it's an app or something, but blogs will start drama between people on purpose just for our entertainment. And I won't lie and say that I don't look at it sometimes. I don't feed into it sometimes because I do. I'm a product of my environment, okay? I'm a social media baby. I was born in 98. Social media got popular around my teenage years, early teenagers. So, of course, I was on social media with the rest of y'all, you know? So, but it'll be like, okay, oh, this person say Kim Kardashian unfollowed Beyonce or something. I'm just using them as an example. It'll start, well, I shouldn't use them because they, Beyonce definitely ain't gonna be on social media, beef with nobody online. So, let me take the queen out of this one. Even though Nicki Minaj is the queen too, I love her. I'm gonna put her in this. Oh, Kim Kardashian unfollowed Nicki Minaj. Now they on social media. Now everybody in the comments like, oh yeah, you could tell Nicki don't like Kim. Oh, Kim was throwing shade to Nicki. Da, 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 da. Oh, last award, they'll pull up a award show from three years ago. Oh, look at this award show. How they was looking up and down at each other. They never liked each other. Now both fan bases, the Kardashian fan base and the Unicorn, the, the barbs, will be going against each other, stirring up a bunch of drama in the comment section. Then Nicki Minaj will finally respond. Kim Kardashian will post a little sub tweet on her story, post a little picture of herself, and be like, um, I never liked the Barbie dolls. <laughs> then all of a sudden, they beefing now because. The blog done started all that drama. Now we up in the comments, not all of us fighting. We like, oh, Kim Kardashian fake anyways. Nicki Minaj fake too. Oh, the barbs, she, the barbs eating Kim Kardashian up. She famous for nothing. And Nicki Minaj music not even hitting like that no more. And we beefing, 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 beefing. Like, that's how we beef. And the, the blog sitting up. <laughs> Eating it up, like look at this, like oh, this just the more followers I'm getting, this just the more sponsorships I'm getting, this just the more money I'm getting, and we all arguing, going against each other, hating each other, getting on social media, on Twitter, cussing each other out over something that the blogs that said that and brewed in a pot and twirled it up, twirled it up, twirled it up, and now we all hating each other, now we all beefing because of the blogs. The blogs is smart, they toxic, but they smart. You can't tell me they don't do that on purpose. And that's why, to me, it's like, damn, I can't like both. I can't like Nicki and Kim. So, hell no, you can't like Nicki and Kim. You know how I used to get a tank a few years ago for liking Nicki Minaj and Cardi B? Like, sometimes I'll still get a tank for talking about how I like Nicki Minaj and Cardi B. And guess what? The blogs boost it. The blogs boost it. How... So, Nicki Minaj like to comment on something about um, Cardi B child. Oh, you know, the boy, that's the first thing that they go uh, they go post. Not Cardi B. Oh, this B talking about my child? I'm going to show her next time I see her. Now she acting a fool in public. Because she saying that Nicki Minaj talking about her child. And the blog's boosting that up, posting it up more. Now Nicki got to respond. Nicki come back with Queen Ready on going off, going crazy about it. I ain't saying nothing about your child. Boom. And how she used to do that sound effect? Boom. All the time for... um. What she would be saying on Queen Radio? It was a mess. Toxic. And social media do that on purpose. Like, people on social media do that on purpose. You can't tell me the blogs don't do that on purpose. You can't tell me that social media is not negative. I even realized, like, to me, TikTok used to be so positive. And I still like TikTok. Like, you know, TikTok. I used to be like, oh, I don't like TikTok. It's for turn. Now I get on TikTok and I can spend hours on TikTok. But TikTok comments... I watch so obviously I done said this before you know I like watching you know stuff on TikTok like old oh, morning routines I like watching you know um hygiene routines I like watching funny stuff and I also like watching weight loss videos they go have weight loss videos and they go have somebody that lost weight or are on their journey and you know they go have a bunch of negative comments oh nasty fat sloppy <laughs> <laughs> and TikTok never used to be like that to me. Now I feel like since everybody on TikTok, that but the breeding grounds for the trolls. They ran like Trace TV say, like roaches. They done ran up like roaches and came up, and now they all have an opinion. And they sitting behind a negative. Uh, they sitting behind a blank screen with their opinion, making you feel bad about yourself when you confident enough to put yourself in front of a camera. But they behind a blank screen, or even if it's their real picture, they behind a computer, not them in real life, talking about how you ugly, you fat, you sloppy, you disgusting. Uh, you need to get off social media, and they making you feel bad about yourself. And whole time, they hate themselves. 
Now you said that done ruined your day. You happy like, oh, I'm gonna post this TikTok. I think it's funny. Oh, I'm working on myself. I'm going, um, I'm doing this to, you know, I'm doing this to, for, in, you know, to, to maybe grow one day to become an influencer or something like that. Or maybe just so people can see their story, so people can motivate them and not they beat themselves up like, oh, I am ugly. Maybe people don't care about, you know, my journey. Now you feeling bad about yourself while they're moving on with their day. They in the kitchen telling you why. So many people, this lady, I remember she, I was watching her and she was like, you know, she eat. She was showing what she ate in a day in a calorie deficit, whatever. And people in the comments is like, that's why you go stay fat. Oh, you ugly. Like you go stay fat. Look at what you're eating at that size. You only need to be eating vegetables and this and that. And da, 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 da. why are you eating that? And she's like, you know, oh, I'm rewarding myself for the snack at the end of the day. This is still in my calorie count. You know, this help. You know, I'm still feeling good about myself. This and that. And um, I'm not cheating. This in my calorie count. So this is still a part of my my you know diet or lifestyle change or whatever. And everybody like that's why you gonna stay fat and disgusting. You need to learn how to eat. Then they log off, put their phone down, lock their phone, and they go out in the kitchen and eating a twenty piece chicken, ice cream or whatever, and probably big they self behind the camera. But got something negative to say about you. I even found myself before like last year or year before and I was kind of like in a miserable mindset to where every time I looked at so something on social media it would be I would have something like I would automatically like let me go to the comments just so I could read the negative comments and I still do that sometimes but just so I could read the negative comments because it's fun reading negative comments I like laughing at them but why is that fun is it because we're we we like negativity which I, sometimes we do or is it because we miserable ourselves? Because honestly, I feel like when I loved reading negative comments about people, I was miserable myself. Like, why is my first thing to do, people doing their thing, why is my first thing to do is scroll through the comments to laugh at all the negative comments I see? Like, every time, it's, it could be a video of a girl dancing, and maybe she can't dance the best. Uh, the first comment I see is, oh, I tripped running to the comment section. Why are you so miserable? Why do you want to see negativity about somebody so bad? And that's my thing about social media. Now, am I getting off of social media? I'm not. <laughs> but am I going to deactivate my Facebook? Most likely. Am I going to just post my content on social media and try to stay off and not look at the negative things? Yes. Because my Instagram, maybe that's why I don't even get on Instagram too much anymore because I unfollow vlogs. But I used to follow every, like all the black blogs like I used to follow the shade room Hollywood unlocked um what was the mother blog spiritual word all them uh black blogs I used to follow and I think I did follow Justin L.A. Boy. Yep, I did. I think I unfollowed him already. Um, because that would be the main thing that pop You know, the shade room posts like 50 times a day. So, that's the, that, that would be the things that would pop up on my feed. And now, it don't on Instagram. And maybe that's why I don't get on that no more. I don't know. But, it's just, I'm trying to back away from negative things. Like, because... They take over my mind. After I see something negative, it take over my mind and it take over my whole day and I'm going to be thinking about it. And some people could say like, oh, just why would you let, like my aunt even said, like, why would you let social media get to you that much? And I don't know. It just, it just do. Like, just the negativity, like, it just make me feel inside and make my skin crawl. Like, damn, this is really the world that we live in. Like, it make me feel like, do we have hope for the future? Like, this... This is the, the way people think, <laughs> like genuinely. So, um, I don't know. I think I will take a break from some social medias like Twitter, Facebook, um, back away from negativity on Instagram, even though, like I said, regardless, my For You page still gonna pop up with a blog post because, you know, that's what pop, that's what's popular. That's what everybody like. But when I see too much negativity instead of staying on that, I will get off. And I might even take a break from social media. But I'm not taking a break from y'all posting um, my content. So, I hope y'all like it. I hope it's not negative because some of my, comment, my content is kind of negative too. I do talk about things that may affect me negatively. But at the same time, I'm not pushing negativity onto people. I don't, I don't feel like. So, hopefully I'm not. But... I hope I hope y'all enjoying this and I hope y'all are enjoying my podcast and really understanding and 
getting into my mind and i'm talking like i'm in the episode i'm just taking a break so i'll be right back okay y'all um i didn't do my song of the week so i guess we could do it at this point let me see i wrote down a song of the week that i wanted to do so let me go look that up Okay, song of the week this week. Y'all like my new phone case? It's cute. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, my song of the week is Good Days by SZA. Y'all, I love this song. Ever since, when this song first came out, like the first week, I was like, ooh, I don't like it. Heard it like two to three more times. And it became my favorite song since it came out. And still, like, regardless, if you were to put on Good Days by SZA, I'm going to sing that song up and down. Probably yell, sting that song because I just love that song. SZA is just my girl, my good Judy. I don't know her, but I'm just saying she my good Judy because I love me some SZA. Um, so yeah, that's the song of the week. And now I lost when I'm trying to. Okay, now I didn't lose what I was gonna talk about. So this topic, and I don't want to talk about it during the break. I was looking up another topic that I typed down because I wanted to do another one because I don't want mommy gang coming at me, but. I guess we rolling with the topic. Um, my this this topic is people that have kids like. Excuse me, I'm sorry. This topic is people that like basically explaining it because I don't have a name for it. But people that have people that have kids like think that they special because they have kids. Like think that people that don't have kids. Like I, I just I, it's no way to explain it. Like I'm gonna read y'all the status that has been going around that just kind of been pissing me off, and I've been seeing a lot of people post it, and that's another reason why I say I'm like ugh. So the post is adults struggling with no kids is weird. The f you out here doing with a bunch of laughing faces. People can't struggle that don't have kids. I just don't get it. Like. But so because we don't have kids, we can't struggle. Um, like we not working the same jobs that's out here that y'all have, and regardless, oh y'all could go to college and get a degree or da da da. People that have degrees still struggling, baby. Which y'all understand? Um, we trying to build a foundation for one day when we want to have kids, and honestly, we're not really worried about the little crumb snatches at this point because. I'm not saying for everybody, but for right now, what I want a child for if I'm going to work, I got to find a babysitter. Um, I got to worry about buying stuff and paying for stuff for for the baby. I don't even like buying stuff for me. Look how high gas is. You think I want to be driving a child to daycare, paying for daycare? Or ha having government assistance to pay for daycare? No, thank you. And there's no shade to the parents. Some people have kids earlier than they plan to. And I respect y'all. My mama had me earlier and she planned to. Like I said in the last episode, my mama struggled and did what she had to do while she had kids. But at the same time, that don't make her struggles more significant than a person that waited to have kids. Just because a person don't have kids, they still have other things to do. Like, some people are finding themselves. That's a struggle in itself. Just because we don't have to work dead end jobs like y'all do to put food on the table for kids we still doing it for ourselves because not all of us want to have a career as in like oh i go to college i get this career um we in the process of finding ourselves we in the process of we still have struggles i know i definitely struggle i know a lot of people that don't have kids that still have struggles my brother hell is in college right now and i talk about him seem like every episode now but he is in college right now and working well about to be working two jobs to pay bills and stuff like that and guess what he is struggling so what the hell he not supposed to struggle because he don't have kids to deal with while doing it no y'all mad and y'all want us to feel less than because y'all have kids y'all had kids prematurely and y'all expecting us to feel like oh yeah maybe we should have accomplished more because we don't have kids yet maybe we are struggling up to a point to where we will make it and we will be in a good place for when we have kids but the thing to where like oh what you doing with your life if you don't have kids like you shouldn't be struggling i just find that so ignorant so i put which i deleted because i feel like is insensitive i put i shared it and i said so y'all struggling with kids is normal why not wait until you're not struggling to have kids which no shade 
Because if you struggling and having kids on purpose, and I no shade. But at the same time, like I say, you know, some people have kids before they ready to it may be an accident at the time and they you have to do what you have to do. You have your kids, you love your kids. Like I know people that genuinely was like I never want churn and they got pregnant and man the kids is just the best thing that ever happened to them. I'm not talking about people like that. But I just feel like it's so normalized now that oh you become a teenager get pregnant have kids struggle and raise the kids either become successful or don't be successful and it's like why is that so normalized now and so we should feel bad because we didn't go in the same generational curse in the same cycle of having kids early and having to struggle with those kids maybe not all of us want to do that like i'm the one in my family that broke the generational curse because everybody else in my family besides me had a child at like 17, 18, or 19. Everybody. Besides me uh, and my Uncle Keenan. I'm going to add him into that too. Because my Uncle Keenan still ain't got no children. But my Uncle Keenan not that much older than me. My Uncle Keenan like 6 years older than me. So I'm 23. He like 28, 29. So yeah, he not old. But he just don't have no kids yet. You know, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, I feel like y'all want us to feel bad about ourselves just because we don't have the extra struggle that y'all have just because y'all have the extra struggle don't mean that we still don't have struggles nah okay so let me read some of these idiotic comments so i do i, I did delete my comment okay so this girl commented under the post actually before i read the comments on the post this girl commented before i decided to delete the status um this girl commented that I used to go to school with but I never really was like close to her but I used to go to school with her um and like middle school I don't know how we even still friends with each other on Facebook but um she said he's really saying that you don't have have a kids for responsibility so life really shouldn't be kicking your a s s I'm not about to cuss um having kids will always be a struggle especially if you're doing it alone alone financially stable or not Nobody said it wasn't. They have people that have a lot of money that still struggle with kids. That's not what he's saying. He was saying like, oh, you don't have kids, so why are you struggling? And it's like, what the hell? I could struggle too just because I don't have kids. I can struggle too. That's basically what he's trying to say. Like, ignorant people in the comments is pushing. And so, even what she said, um, he. so if you don't have kids for solo, saying you don't have kids for responsibilities so life shouldn't be kicking your a like girl they have other responsibilities in this world besides having kids there's a lot of other responsibilities besides having kids having kids is a big responsibility so maybe we're not ready for that yet but we're gonna struggle through the other responsibilities first before having a big responsibility of having kids because i want to have children i want to have children within the next i'm 23 i say 26 27 hopefully is the age when I want to have kids. But I got to find a man first and I don't got no man. And I'm not about to just have kids with whoever. You know, I am on birth control. No. I am on birth control. But <laughs> I said am I? I be forgetting because I don't take pills in the world. But um, yeah, but at the end of the day but it's because we don't want like just because we don't want to yet like that that mean like we don't have other struggles i know that they have other struggles besides having kids let me read my comment i think i said something like that in my comment so what i replied back to her was i understand what he's saying but i don't think it's valid because people have other struggles besides having kids i'm sure parents have struggles that always pertain to their kids which they do i'm sure they have other struggles that don't pertain to their kids but obviously having children on top of struggling is making it a bigger struggle but that don't mean that you ain't struggling just like everybody else um but we should all be but we should all be living a great life because we don't have kids question mark college and a full-time job barely making enough to pay bills with no assistance is also a big struggle i'm just saying because and i'm not gonna push that narrative that all parents get assistance you know all parents that did it early get assistance but honestly a lot of parents get assistance some people i know that went to school that had training at 16 they living in a house driving a car and everything getting assistance from the government getting full stamps and because i decided not to go that route i can't get all that all them assistance like y'all do like y'all get a lot 
<laughs> no shade. Um, college and a full time job, barely making enough to pay bills, and no assistance is a big struggle. Look, my grandmother uh, decide to vacuum when I'm recording. But um, what I say, I'm just saying. I know parents go through. I know parents go through a lot, but people without kids also struggle, and that should that shouldn't be swept under the rug just because we don't have kids yet. When exactly, just because we don't have that struggle, don't mean we don't have no struggles. So we're supposed to be rich and shining because we don't got no kids yet, and oh, y'all have an excuse to not be rich and shining because y'all did have kids at an early age, so y'all have an excuse to be struggling. Y'all about to come at me and say that I'm being sensitive. I'm not being sensitive because I understand parents struggle. You can't tell me about no parents struggle when I know that I don't know the full extent to it because I'm not a parent struggling at this moment. I pray that I don't be struggling when I decide to have children. But I was the first child to my mama who was a single parent. My mama had five kids. We was raised in the house with four of them. I understand and saw my mama struggle. I was a child that had to be the babysitter that, you know, my mama got a job that she could have got. So I was babysitting. I, I saw what my mama sometimes didn't have enough. She had to scrape up and make enough and be miserable sometimes. I saw my mama in de depressions sometimes because I understand that, you know, having to deal with children plus having your own things going on in life is hard. But should people that decided not to have children ever or decided not to have children earlier than they were ready does that make their feelings invalid does that make us you know the things that we go through insignificant no we still go through things just like y'all just because you're in a depression and have kids on top of it yes i know understand that's hard for you but that don't mean that me being in depression and not having to worry about kids is less important than yours the, like that don't mean that like me having a job that is not enough for me to sustain more like less significant than you having a job and not having enough to sustain because you have kids because I'm not going to get into the whole topic of government assistance, which a lot of parents do get government assistance. It's readily available to you. Like, honestly, I could go, if I had children, I could go get Section 8 and get housing. No shade. Is that the best situation to be in? Hell no. And I know parents want better situations for them and their kids, but that's just something that's available to them. I'm working a job to where I'm barely making enough to get myself underwater, and I can't go get Section 8 or rental assistance because it's just me. They could say, oh, you could go work a million jobs da, 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 because you don't have to worry about getting a babysitter. You don't have to worry about being a parent. But that's not... Do people want to be depressed all the time? Do I want to be miserable not sleeping, working three to four jobs at a time? I, I'm i in the process of trying to build up something that I want to be for my future. And I'm struggling in that process. I'm not fully struggling, but I'm struggling in that process of trying to build myself up, trying to better me, trying to figure out what I want to be in life. So just because I don't have the struggle of having kids, I don't have that, oh, setback which i'm not saying the kids are setbacks but i don't have that setback of having the kids to focus on my mind fully focus on because i have kids to focus on regardless i still have me to focus on and i still have okay i'm still worrying that you know time is ticking i, I am a woman and i do have a biological clock and i want to get myself together for when I want to have kids one day. I want to be in this place. I want to have this. I want to, you know, have a career, a certain type of career. And so just because I don't have kids, I'm supposed to already be in that place. Maybe I spent time not knowing what I wanted to do, which definitely me. Maybe I, and, and I'm in a process of struggling, working dead in jobs just like y'all working because I'm not going to school like other people. And just because... I don't have kids. I have to go to school and 
you know, be be this person where, oh, you have all the free time in the world, so you could already be in this position. Oh, I, I, I have kids, so I have to think about them first. No, I still have those struggles, and I still have things that I have to do to be in a place that I want to be. And just because I don't have kids yet, that don't mean that my struggles not just as important as yours are that don't mean that i can't struggle that don't mean i can't struggle financially that don't mean i can't struggle mentally that don't mean i can't struggle in so many other ways so i just feel like the mommy gang and daddy gang on social media want us to feel bad about ourselves that we don't have kids if we not in a position in life to be in millionaires or rich because there are also parents that had their children at young ages and are making a bunch of money. Millionaires. Trillionaires. Doing what they got to do. So, what should... I could I could argue and that would be ignorant for me to say but I could argue and be like well what's your excuse this person was a single parent and look what they did they worked hard so what's your excuse for struggling but guess what that would be ignorant because I respect and understand that everybody have their own struggles in life I respect and understand that just because this person is in this position and they may have these benefits and luxuries you may not have that so i understand and get that you're not in that place in life and i'm not like oh other single parents um made it to a place where they're millionaires and you a parent and you're not millionaires and you're not a millionaire so uh, what the f you struggling for like you know that would be ignorant and stupid to say because you have your own situation so just because i'm not in your situation don't mean that i shouldn't ever struggle or nothing like that so it just it's so stupid to me um <clears throat> let me read a comment from the post this thing on screen protector is falling off of my phone okay so this girl in the comment said oh no 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 she had a good comment dang i wish i would have screenshot the the dumb ones um no i didn't screenshot no dumb comments I screenshot a comment that I related to like I do I relate to this comment I don't know let me just read it so this lady commented and said this is Facebook obviously this lady commented and said so I'm just trying to figure out why y'all with kids still struggling and wasn't rich before y'all had kids this get this this be having me weak so before y'all had kids y'all ain't go through no struggles a lot of y'all didn't have no apartment no car no nothing before y'all had kids y'all y'all had kids and was forced to get your stuff we still out here learning and making dumb decisions in the process genuinely and i can honestly say yes i have made dumb decisions in a process y'all hear that vacuum i have made dumb decisions in a process of me learning and me developing and you know trying to learn the person that i am i don't i'm not forced to grow up earlier than i wanted to i am forced to you know pay bills obviously because that's just what it is to be an adult in this world pay bills and work but i'm still not forced to being a parent and growing up and having to be responsible for another human being but at the same time i am still in the process of learning me and figuring me out so let me finish her comment. I'm sorry, I just related to that point. Um, so let me go back to when she said, "We still out here learning and making dumb decisions in the process. A lot of decision, a lot of decisions being made to help us to have a more comfortable future for when we do have kids. But y'all still struggling with kids with the mindset. With this mindset, is that blows me. Like, show me what you was working with before. Hold up, my bad, y'all. I'm reading like a second grader like show me what you which show me what you was working with before your kids and then we could have this conversation but it blows me that y'all think because someone has no kids they have no struggles lots of times when you have kids you have plenty more responsibilities and plenty more people willing to help you just off the strength you have of you having a kid but you still struggle with kids so y'all mouth shouldn't be on somebody with no kids period period that's what, genuinely like honestly if i come up short of money on something like oh my insurance do all this and that i have a great grandmother that will help me but a lot of my family don't be like what you do with your money like you know like 
like what you need help for basically that's how they look at it my aunt have five kids my aunt have all the help in the world whatever she need whatever she want trust and believe my grandmother or uh, my grandfather is go get it for her or go do whatever she needs all she gotta do is cry or say them children need something and they are gonna get it for her period for they look at me as like what the hell you need this for like i just feel like not everybody have assistance from other people but parents do have the opportunity to have more assistance no shade not all because they do have some parents that say have a pretty decent job and because they have a decent job which a place my aunt was in she had a decent job so she couldn't get benefits so she was struggling more than people with nothing with kids no shade so i'm not saying that all parents get benefits i'm not saying that all parents have people to beg them and that you know will push and help them whenever they need something but a lot of people do have more assistance and are offered more things because they have kids and i'm not saying that's wrong because i don't feel like kids should go without i thank god that we did have assistance when i was growing up because that made it a hell of a lot easier for my mama and my mama worked her butt off one thing i would never do is discredit parents and my mom was a single mother and i would never discredit her because my mom worked her butt off but at the end of the day don't push that narrative that just because that's something that you had to do that other people should never have struggles so that's all i'm saying hopefully mommy gang don't come at me like i said i respect y'all i appreciate y'all because i respect my mama period and my mama do what she had to do and i feel like she made some pretty damn good children i may not be in the best spot right now but look at my brother my little sister's doing what they gotta do who knows what the future holds? i have another brother that's in school doing his thing you know so it's just you never know but at the same time like i said i respect y'all i respect mommy gang hashtag mommy gang i respect y'all no shade i respect y'all but pushing that narrative that people should just be oh you don't got no kids what you struggling for like you don't got no kids like what's, shouldn't nothing be wrong with you is stupid and that's all i'm gonna say so um <laughs> i love y'all shout out to all the parents doing their damn thing for their kids trust me we appreciate y'all we love y'all we see y'all working but um yeah anyways i love y'all and i'll see y'all in the next episode make sure y'all like comment and subscribe argue with me in the comments if y'all want um talk to me about it give me feedback make sure y'all listen fully and throughout all the way before commenting because i will shut y'all down no shade just kidding i don't argue with comments i just pass them up uh, so I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next episode like comment subscribe follow my social medias and like I said I will be posting on TikTok and reels and shorts and everything not too so I hope y'all ready for to see a whole bunch of me coming soon <laughs> anyways I love y'all see y'all in my next video bye Stay